Now, uh, as we wait for the big jobs report, uh, I've got with me a special guest, Leo Hendry. He's the managing partner at Intermedia Partners and also the co-chairman of the New America Foundation Task Force on Job Creation. Uh, Leo, as you know, has a storied career in the media business, had been working with John Malone for many years, head of TCI, uh, AT&T Broadband, and many other companies. I want to get uh, in a well, minute. I'm glad I'm not right now. It's, it's, <laughs> it would be tough to be a CEO right. in, right. in this market. Now, um, just, I don't want to get too retroactive, but, you know, in the last 24 hours, what's been going through your mind as you've seen what's been happening? You know, Betty, one market can be wrong. All markets combined pretty much are factual, and, and, and they're telling us that there are two and a half economies in the, in the world that matter. Mm -hmm. China's, ours, and Germany's. Germany's role, pretty obviously now, is to bail out virtually all of Europe. It's not that big to do that. We passed this deficit reduction bill uh, in the last 72 or so hours. And, and I think the market is telling us, in our case, none of that is likely to put some stimulus back into our economy. Uh, we're going to see a jobs report here in a few minutes that's pretty, pretty stagnant. And, and so we're relying on China. And, and the market looks at that as a whole and says the two and a half with one and a half of them weakened is simply not enough. And I think the distress that a lot of us have coming out of the discussions of, the, of this last week is there was no, not a single mention by many of the members of jobs. Hmm. Is, is, is this, members of Congress. You're members of about, Congress. Okay. Is, is this initiative that was just passed going to create jobs? In fact, it's going to lose jobs. Of course. But right. by not having any revenue in the system, any new revenue, not, not one dollar, when you cut at the government level only, we're, we're, we're projecting that that bill that just passed will actually cost in the medium term, about 1.8 million jobs. But Leo, there's no austerity package that would ever create jobs, though. Well, th th there's not an austerity package that's, that's t done only in the cut side. And, and we have argued that there have to be revenues. You can't have two wars, a jobless recovery that's now persisted for 36 months, and, and not spend monies. Mm -hmm. uh, many of us argue, Betty, that the stimulus package of early 09 was pretty ineffective. It could have been guided in much more effective fashion. And we need to do something. Uh, my colleagues and I have spent a lot of time over the last year putting some recommendations together for all members right. of Congress about how to create jobs. But we now know we, we're not going to be able to pay for any of those initiatives mm. because the decision was made, I think, to in, cut in, only. To right. cut only. And I remember sitting in conversations early on where we were debating how much would be new revenue and how much would be cuts. Uh, many of us argued for 50-50. I heard the administration say, no, it has to be 60-40. This was early on you're talking about, early, early on, on the Obama administration. Well, no, early on in these, in the, in in these, these, talk in these okay. deficit talks. And, and then it went from 50-50 by but those of us who are a little more aggressive, 60-40 out of the administration, what turned out to be 100-0, 100% cuts in zero revenue. So as you talk to members of Congress, which I have since the bill was passed, those of them who would like to create jobs, who, who, who don't just say it as, as, as rhetoric, but actually mean it, where are we going to find the monies to do it? That what we did on, on Monday and Tuesday is we shut the spigot off. Mm -hmm. and, and nobody who's thoughtful, and, and this market behind us is extremely thoughtful, nobody can look at that outcome, Betty, and say that's going to create jobs. And as I said briefly, it's going to cut jobs. And, and so we're going to see about 85,000 jobs this morning. Uh, later on, uh, I'll share with you and others sort of a, a deep dive into those numbers. Right. Manufacturing is going to be flat again, construction flat. We're going to have a little bit of uptick in services, which is not especially helpful into the long term. Right. But 85,000 is, is a... Sounds right to you? I think it could come in a little light, lighter than that. Okay. But we need 200,000 every month, month after month after month, just to stay to even. To get that rate down. Well, just to stay even. No, that's just okay. to stay even. That's a population growth in this country. We're still one of the developed economies that still grows its population. We need 200, 1,000, and at least 150,000 just to stay even. Uh, Leo, just quickly, I know you just had breakfast, right, with Senator Dick Durbin? Yes. From Illinois. What, I mean, what was, what did he, what was his take? Well, Senator Durbin is, is one of those members of Congress who, 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 deep in his core, believes in job creation and, and is a very activist. But does he feel he can do anything about it? No. I think he's, he gave a wonderful speech, Betty, on Sunday that most people didn't see. It was on the, uh, on the floor of the Senate. And he described it as sort of the second death of Keynes. You know, the one that when Mr. Mm -hmm. Keynes, uh, mm -hmm. Lord Keynes himself passed, but those of us who believe in times of great distress, and I think this is the time of enormous distress, that the government has a proactive role, felt that this bill 
and, I, and Mr. Durbin, Senator Durbin's speech uh, reflected that, we, do, we don't have the uh, foot on the accelerator to fix it right now. Did you talk about recession? Do you think we're going into recession? Well, I, I'm one of those who think we've been in one, Betty. And or that we never got out of we it? We never got out of it, and let me tell you why. I mean, the, the simple measure of recession is GDP positive growth. Right. That said, when you have jobless recovery for 36 months, we actually have 4.5 million more women and men in real terms out of employment since the inauguration. Mm -hmm. So I can't look at what has been going on since December of 07 and say we ever left the recession. Certainly your colleagues will argue for a double dip, I vote for that, but I've actually in the school that it's been a prolonged L. And no relief in sight until we see some sort of stimulus out so of Congress or out of the Fed? Well, Congress forestalled itself from stimulus. I mean, they've said we're, we're not. They've said we're going home. We're not going to let you raise a nickel of revenue. So you say you and I had the perfect solution today. We couldn't find under the construct that's in place a nickel to spend on it. Mm -hmm. So that's what the market has been telling us. And again, it's not just the U.S. market. This is the most informed proxy for what's going to go on when it happens in mass, like it did last night.